Hello and welcome to a new video about level measurement. This time we are talking about a conductivity method. We are also switching in steps. It's very similar to this uh, rotor measurement we talked about, but working electrically. So how is it working? We again have a tank where we want to determine the level. So we apply here at the top some measurement device. Okay. And we have electrodes inside there of different length. Some of them are already covered by the liquid, some of them not. How many? Depends a little bit. Okay. And if the liquid is conductive, so if there is you can you can measure here yeah, there's current running then well you can determine if two things are in contact with the liquid or not and there would be even the possibility if the hull of the tank uh, the wall of the tank is also conductive then you could even use this yeah? and this for instance would look like, so here we measure the current, if current is running, and then we have the level. This, for instance, would check this level, this level, this level. This would be the, the switching levels. Okay. Sometimes it's enough to see only a few levels, yeah? because then you could use it, for instance, with a two or three point switch yeah? so that you say okay now it's getting too high i open the drain now it's getting too low i open the refill and then you will stay somewhere in the middle would be would be perfectly possible okay so it's about the conductivity and switching with uh, different in different situations All right, so what is the upside? Yeah. The upside, well, it's rather easy, okay? It's easy, cheap. Easy and cheap. Uh, and like I said, can be used for switching controllers. Like I said, too high, drain, too low, refill, for instance. Yeah? So it's a two point or three point. Controller. There are separate videos about those controllers. Yeah? Negative would be, yeah? so we need to have a conductive material. Yeah? Conductive uh, medium must be yeah same conductivity constant conductivity and not dirt at electrodes if the electrodes are somehow you know corroded or there's also electrical corrosion yeah if this simply dissolve or something like this then this is no longer working yeah? so conductivity switching yeah? next time we are also doing an electrical method uh, where we don't need conductivity of the medium where we even don't want conductivity in the medium we want to have the we want to that an isolator capacitive method next time for this time thank you very much for listening goodbye